Golden Opportunities is paid for by Elder Productions. Hello, I'm Lori Steiner. Welcome to Golden Opportunities. Today, we'll prescribe a healthy dose of medical news you can use. Then, a magazine made just for us. We'll peek at the pages of the upcoming issue of Boomer and Beyond. We'll lose an hour when we spring ahead, but if you can find an hour, you could spring a new smile on everyone. We'll tell you how. Plus, plan to prepare the perfect Easter arrangement. We'll help your ideas blossom. And most people don't know that Medicaid has made major changes. We'll change that by sharing the most up-to-date information. It's time to get geo and so pull up a chair and join us at our kitchen table for Golden Opportunities. Had a good laugh lately? It's no joke that finding things that are funny is good for your health. Dr. Shirley Ratner is here to share why laughter really may be the best medicine. Dr. Ratner is a clinical psychologist with Metro Health. Welcome to the show again. Thank you for having me. So are you going to tell us, take two jokes and call me in the morning? <laughs> Not exactly, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you all about the great short-term and long-term benefits of laughter. Okay, well let's start with the short-term benefits. All right, well in the short-term, physically, laughter can help do many things as a reaction to your body. For example, laughter has been shown to lower your blood pressure, increase oxygen levels, um, stimulate your heart, lungs, and muscles, and release endorphins, which are the feel-good hormones. Okay. Yeah. Also, it can reduce stress. Stress can release hormones in your body that compromise and wear down your immune system. So the release of endorphin or endorphins really offsets that, makes you feel more relaxed, less tense, and overall much more calm okay. and healthy. And I suppose the next thing you're going to tell me is laughter is good exercise. Well, it is. It's great for your abdominals. You know, laughing makes your stomach contract. It's like doing sit-ups. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, um, so we talked about some of the short-term benefits. How about the long-term benefits? Right. So in the long term, laughter boosts your immune system. You know, by, um, you know, bringing all those endorphins over time and keeping you calm, really makes you healthier and keeps your immune system strong. Also, laughter has been shown to be a natural painkiller. It can mm. actually reduce the sensation of physical pain. There was a professor out in California named Norman Cousins. He had a chronic illness and decided to experiment. He laughed, he used laughter, and he actually laughed his way back to health. Oh my goodness. It is, and now while that's not typical, it does show that laughter can really improve your health over the long term. And improve your satisfaction of life even. Absolutely. Well, it helps you, laughter helps you connect to people and we know that social connections are so important for overall health and well-being. Okay, so what if laughter doesn't come easily to somebody, like I'm missing my funny bone? <laughs> right, exactly. So there is a way that you can cultivate a sense of humor. The first thing you want to do is put humor on your radar. So post up a funny picture or comic strips on your bathroom mirror, on your refrigerator, on your computer at work. You know, watch funny movies, funny shows. Just improve your overall, you know, t you know, sense, sense of, of having laughter around you. Mm-hmm. You know? And also laughing at yourself. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, there's the saying, laugh at yourself and the world laughs with you. It's so contagious. You know, and it helps you really develop those connections. Also, hang out with people who you know make you laugh. <laughs> make sure, though, that you use good judgment and don't laugh at the expense of others. Of course not. You know, yes. make sure you're appropriate. And and again, it is really so very important for social connections. How about books? Yes, absolutely. So a comic good, books. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. So the one of the greatest thing you can do is go to your local bookstore or library. They have humor sections. And you can go there and browse. You will find comic books, funny essays. You know, buy a book or take out one from the library, bring it home, read it, read it and share it with friends, with family members. It really just helps create a sense of positiveness and laughter and a relaxation that really brings good health. 
and you just keep it going. Absolutely, you want to keep it going and you want to keep paying attention how, how laughter affects your mind, your body, and your feelings. And keep, you know, working on that sense of laughter as a way to keep you relaxed and calm and overall a much more positive person. Excellent advice. Turns out laughter is serious medicine. Follow Dr. Ratner's tips to tickle your funny bone and lighten your load. My thanks to Dr. Ratner for joking, I mean joining us today on the show. To learn more, call Metro Health at 216-778-7800 or visit their website, www.metrohealth.org. Next, issuing information and entertainment. But first, in a few days, we'll celebrate St. Patrick's Day. On March 17th, we'll put on a parade here in our hometown, as will another 100 or so cities. It's no surprise Boston, New York, and Chicago go big on St. Pat's birthday. But there's a city in the South that also has others green with envy. Can you name that town? Just sit a spell, and then we'll come back and tell. Hilltop Village Apartments is retirement living at its best. Residents enjoy a wide variety of activities and living services with all large first floor apartments, private screened in patios with beautiful park views, daily dining room meals, free laundry facilities, 24 hour staff and so much more. Enjoy safe, comfortable independence at a very affordable price. Call today for a tour and learn how you can get your first month's rent free. Hilltop Village Apartments, retirement living at its best. Irish roots run deep in Savannah, Georgia, which held its first St. Patrick's Day parade in 1813, and today attracts about one million people for its annual event. The South's warm weather makes it easy to enjoy the three plus hour parade party. Spring is almost here, a time to restore, refresh, and rejuvenate. Need some ideas on how to do that? Lucky for you, there's a free magazine that will give you plenty of suggestions. The March-April issue of Northeast Ohio Boomer and Beyond hits the stands a week from now. Publisher Brad Mitchell and editor Marie Illiam is here, are here to give us a sneak peek at a few of its pages. So Marie, let's start with you. Spring's a time to plant new ideas, and the cover story does that, right, with regard to planting and, and purpose. It does. It, our cover story is on... Um, our, our subject is India Pierce Lee, and she works with the Cleveland Foundation, and she was one of the people instrumental in getting a programs going in distressed Cleveland neighborhoods. And one of them, which we uh, focused on in this issue, is uh, Green City Growers, and it's the largest hydroponic greenhouse for food in the country. Wow. It's a massive area. It's really wonderful. And it was just the right bit of springtime, you know, <laughs> to, to visit. And they so. sell to the local restaurants? Yes, and, and uh, distributors. You can get it uh, at grocery stores, restaurants, uh, and at um, Westside Market is another location you can get them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Brad, you know, it mm -hmm. makes us feel good to hear stories like that. Um, but if you need a little bit more help to be happy, like in our laughter segment, um, there's an article to increase optimism, right? There is. You know, we, we took a slice of life here and wanted to look at some people who, despite some challenging circumstances in their life, they are somehow able to look at the glass as half full versus half empty, something that we can all learn from because, you know, sometimes, although the glass is only half full, that's enough to quench your thirst. Hmm. And, you know, we can learn a lot from making the best of the time we do have left in our lives and making an impact and focusing on what we do have versus focusing on what we used to have. So kind of st starting where we are, looking forward and looking to the future. And these people we talk to really have a, a really healthy dose of positive outlook that we can all appreciate. But on the other hand... Pessimists. <laughs> so we have a, a story that also is running with it because I have to admit I'm a bit of a pessimist and so there's a role for us. So that's what this story shows that, that pessimism has value because it, it prepares you for things that can come. The, the focus is to not, um, or the, the key is to not focus on being pessimistic. Okay. So, yeah. 
And I know you like a good makeover, just like the I rest do. of us. Yes, but I do. But we have a little bit different <laughs> focus here in, the, in an article in the magazine. We do. Uh, we have a, a, um, an author who uh, specializes in remaking closets and helping people edit their clothing, et cetera, making good choices for um, their lifestyle. And so she is a really positive, another positive, great outlook and tips on how to make your clothing and your style work for you. So, okay. so you're, you're working with your clothing, not having your clothing work against you. All right, so you can display the real <clears throat> That's right, that's right. All right, and for true <clears throat> Tribe fans, which there's oh. a whole lot in Cleveland, um, we haven't there forgotten are, about them. There are, baseball season is literally around the corner, and this is exciting times for us. Uh, we have a wonderful story written by a lifelong uh, Indian fan who's very optimistic, by the way, yes. and thinks that this season could be the season <clears throat> the for the Indians. Season. All right. That's right. Um, he talks all about uh, the younger players and the new acquisitions the Indians have made and about enjoying going to the, the ballpark with the family, with friends, even bringing the grandkids and how to make it a tradition for... Um, you know, for the spring, summer, and into the fall, because the Indians will be alive in, even in October That's this year. Right. All That's right. <laughs> so we're now we're hooked. Where do we find the magazine? <laughs> well, Boomer and Beyond comes out every other month. So this is our third issue. The March-April issue will be out the week of the 21st, and it can be found at over 550 locations around town, uh, fitness centers, libraries, senior centers, rec centers, dentist doctors, hospitals, and if your location, if your uh, organization or your club or your business would like to carry copies, uh, please call us or email us with the contact information and we can make you a drop-off point because the magazine is free and we want to get, get it in the hands of the right people. So. <laughs> All right. All of this great information, entertainment, and it is free. It's Focus on Boomers and Beyond. Pick up your free copy of the March-April issue next week. My thanks to Brad Marie for previewing the latest publication. Thank you. Thanks, Lauren. For more information, call Northeast Ohio Boomer and Beyond at 330-822-4011 or email them at info at northeastohioboomer.com or like them on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash neohioboomer. Next, time is on your side. Looking for places to go, things to do? Welcome to our community calendar. Find out about the catastrophic changes in Medicaid at free seminars presented by the law firm of Solomon, Steiner, and Peck over the next three days, March 14th at 7 p.m. at the Holiday Inn at Rockside, March 15th at 1 p.m. at the Doubletree in Beechwood, and March 16th at 2 p.m. at the Middleburg Heights Community Center. To learn more, Call 1-888-236-5173 or visit www.ssnplaw.com. Last night we lost an hour when we sprung forward, but how much could we have really gotten done in that hour anyway? Turns out, plenty. At least when it comes to springing a new smile on your face. Dennis Steve Marsh is here to tell us why time is on our side when it comes to turning your frown upside down. Hi, Lori. Welcome back to the show. Thanks so much. All right, let's start the clock. What can we really get done in an hour? Well, you can't do a whole makeover. Sometimes we've shown mouth makeovers, but we can fix things like chipping and bonding, breakage, that sort of thing. And oftentimes somebody will come to me and they have a big event that evening and they say, oh my gosh, what can you do? And they've got an issue. And so we do all we can to show them what we can do and make sure that they can go to their event. Um, and this is a patient who uh, wasn't very significant, but it was to him. He was actually a senior in high school. This happened this fall. And uh, you can see he fell. He broke that upper front tooth, his right, the viewer's left. And he said, oh my gosh, I have the homecoming dance, the game, the whole deal. And so we ended up bonding that. And on the lower teeth, you can see we just reshaped them. Mm -hmm. uh, and he felt bit much more confident. He was thrilled with a smile. Not a big makeover, but enough that we could make him satisfied. And, Pre presentable for prom. Well, that homecoming. was an emergency, right? I mean, it would right. be for a senior and, and homecoming and everything like that. But what if it's not an emergency? What so, can you get done in an hour? Well, so we have people who come in and they want their teeth whitened. And they've, uh, they've heard about Zoom. And Zoom whitening is a technique we do in the office. Uh, again, it takes about an hour. They sit and watch TV uh, and enjoy themselves. Actually, it's sort of a quiet time. Uh, and sometimes we'll do reshaping. So 
reshaping can be done in an hour. So this is a woman who had actually been a patient of mine for years. She actually saw a segment on golden opportunities on reshaping of teeth and said, how come you haven't talked to me about it? <laughs> so I said, well, let's look at it. And you can see her upper teeth, though it's a little hard to see in the before. They were misshapen the lowers. And this happens with all of us in this 50 and over group. The teeth tend to shift, especially the lower teeth, and you start to show more lower teeth. So I said to her, let's just reshape those teeth. We don't have to do anything very significant. And you can see the lower teeth we reshaped very nicely, easily, no braces involved, and the upper teeth again reshaped it. So a little whitening and reshaping can make a huge difference. So Lori, here's a picture of a, of a patient. Uh, she came to me last summer and she did whitening. And if you look at the before picture, that's after we whitened her with Zoom. And then she maintained it with whitening trays. She didn't like her gummy smile. So we then, in a succeeding appointment, again, not, the, not in that hour, we actually did a gum lift. We do that with a laser, and it can be done very easily. That can be done in about a half hour. And then we then put porcelain veneers on. Now that took a couple hours of two appointments to give her that beautiful smile. So sometimes we can do it in an hour. Sometimes we need uh, more, more appointments and more time. I know some people try to fit in their appointments before work or at lunch hour, so, you know, what about numbing and issues with going okay, beyond Okay, so that first hour? of all, we start every day, five days a week at 7 in the morning because a lot of people, attorneys included, want to come to us early, get it out, out of the way. So whether it's an attorney at the beginning of the day or somebody just going to work or a lunch hour, we've numbed them up to do work. There's now a, a material called or Oraverse. I'm just going to hold it up here. This is a carpule, and with this, we, uh, when we give injections, it reverses the Novocaine. So instead of being numb three to four hours and going back to work <laughs> and meeting with a client that way, we use Oraverse. Okay. And in a half hour, they're ready to go. How about folks who need a little bit more than an hour? We don't have much time, but... <laughs> well, we'll look at it. So there's a lot that can be done given the time, and we'll look at it one or two pictures, and that'll show us what we can do given more time. This is the trio. So when we do impressions, remember the goop that people would have? They don't want to go back to work with it. That's the trio. So in about two and a half minutes, we can take an impression of the upper arch, two and a half minutes to do the lower arch. So what used to take 10, 20 minutes and be very sloppy can be done nicely. And this is a patient who recently came to me. She wanted some reshaping of her teeth. We use the trios to take the impression. The lower, again, I did that reshaping that I showed you on a patient who had been with me years. And on the upper, we did porcelain veneers. We brought the smile in and gave her that absolutely beautiful, symmetrical smile. All right, always great. It only takes a few tick tocks on the clock to transform your teeth to looking terrific. For help, give Steve a call. His number is next. Thanks. You're welcome. See what Dr. Stephen Marsh can do for your smile by calling 440-461-1003 or visit www.clevelandsmiles.com. Next sensational centerpieces. It's time to get up and go. An exercise segment on golden opportunities. Hello everybody, it's Mike Carbon from Breakout Fitness and today we're here to show you how to work the shoulder muscles, but more importantly than the shoulder muscles, the trap muscles which aid our neck in moving all different directions when we're driving or even sitting at the ballpark watching a game. You ready to go? I don't know. I don't know. Exactly, you already got it. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna stand on the center of the band Okay, we wanna make sure there's a nice amount of tension between our foot and our hand. All we're gonna do is maintain good posture, make sure you breathe, but we're gonna bring the shoulders to our ears and then back down. Your arms should stay straight throughout the whole movement. Just squeeze your neck and look forward, okay? Raise your shoulders as high as you can, as if you're saying, I don't know. I don't know. How you feeling? I don't know. I don't know, all right. All right, we're looking for 12 to 15 repetitions here, at least three to four sets, everybody. And now it's your turn to get up and go. For your copy of the exercise booklet, send $1 for postage to Golden Opportunities, 6105 Parkland Boulevard, Suite 140, Mayfield Heights, Ohio, 44124. Easter is just two weeks away. This year, instead of an Easter bonnet with all the frills upon it, why not go for a centerpiece that's sensational? Greg Lauk is here with ideas for your Easter table. Greg is a designer and owner of The Greenhouse, a fresh flower market. So Hi. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's always yeah. fun. 
so we've got all these decorations here. Is there things that we can do ourselves? Well, some things you can do yourselves and some things maybe leave to the professionals. We'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll get to that, right? Yes. So let's start with, what are we starting sure. at? Sure, absolutely. Well, why don't we end? start with what, what a professional might do. So you might mm -hmm. go to your local florist and pick up a beautiful centerpiece for your, your Easter table. So this is just a disposable container. You don't even really see the container. And this is just packed with fresh spring flowers. We have lilies and sunflowers and coxcomb and Gerber daisies and status and some spray roses. And that's just artfully presented in a centerpiece. Now, candlelight's important too, so we put together some of these floating candles and we put some grass beneath them and some votives. So I would say leave that to your professional, go to your local right. florist and pick that up and that would be a lovely centerpiece for your it holiday would. table. It's beautiful. Thank but you. I really like the daffodils down here at the other end. Yeah, this is cute, right? So this is another uh, idea that you could do at home easily, whether it's calancho, these are like little four inch calancho plants plants that is in this really cute decorative container or we just did all daffodils in this really long container and they're like little four inch plants. You could do tulips, daffodils, hyacinths, any type of spring blooming plant presented on your table either in a row like this or any type of container. We added birch branches. Go out to your yard. Pick some twigs. <laughs> Seriously. Use what you, what you got. Exactly. Or you know have the little kids in your in your house put some Easter eggs you know in, in it as well. These make great holiday centerpieces. And they're beautiful. And they're, and they're cute. It yeah. looks like they're easy to do. They are. Now we've got this example on the center here. We've got one finished and we then do. a few that look quite not quite finished yet. Yeah. So what's going on? Exactly. So we have this four by four cube that we lined with a tie leaf, a green tie leaf, which we have right here in both of our containers. Mm -hmm. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this really easy centerpiece at home. You could take a couple hydrangeas that we kind of have wired together like this, and we just cut them really short, and I cut yours short yeah, you already did mine. for your vase. So we just plop it down in the vase like that. And then, you know, you could add daffodils, hyacinths, tulips, iris, whatever. We just happen to have something very simple and plain, mm -hmm. and we're gonna just do these tulips, and we're gonna cut them, and we're just gonna artfully put them in. Artfully? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's probably you, not necessarily me. <laughs> we're gonna put them in this <laughs> arrangement, and you know, uh, one by one, and this will make it a you know beautiful presentation. You could do 10, 20, whatever, and then we're gonna top dress it with this wax flower. This is a type of filler that you can buy, and um, this wax flower can be poked in as well, but as you can see, when you have three arrangements, you could dot your table down the center with three identical arrangements, put candlelight around it, maybe put some Easter eggs on the table, and it really makes for a great, beautiful, spring-looking centerpiece, you know, for your for your table, and it's something that the kids can get involved with. Sure, this is actually pretty easy. Uh, uh, right? Maybe we won't give them scissors to cut the flowers, <laughs> but they can certainly poke them in and make their very own. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. Great holiday ideas for Easter. These centerpieces thanks. will make you the center of attention this holiday. My thanks to Greg for these excellent Easter ideas. And <laughs> if you need help with your table decorations, give Greg a call. The number's next. Find out more by calling The Greenhouse, a fresh flower market at 1-800-795-1366 or log on to www.thegreenhouseflorist.com. Next, Medicaid Matters. Here at Metro Health, you know you matter when it matters most. Here, we are the city's best at preparing for the world's worst. Here, we are the only verified burn center in Ohio for adults and children. Here, you'll find exceptional clinicians with extraordinary hearts. So the work we do here at Metro Health makes an impact here, out here, and right here. Metro Health, we're here for you, for all of you. Medicaid is the one governmental benefit that can help almost everyone with long-term care costs like the nursing home, if you qualify. Last week we discussed changes happening currently with the Medicaid program in Ohio to make qualification harder. Even more changes to the program are expected in July of this year, all in the name of saving money. Here to discuss these upcoming changes is my up-and-coming law partner, Mike Solomon. Hey, Lori, how are you doing? So what's the big change coming? Well, Ohio, uh, since the beginning of Medicaid, Ohio was a special type of Medicaid state. It's called a Section 209B state, if you're curious about that. <laughs> and what that meant is Ohio was allowed to have Medicaid rules that were harsher than 
the disability rules for Social Security. So Ohio is changing that. They're now, most states, by the way, but the other way. So Ohio has now decided to make their rules match most of the other states and, and become that other kind of state. It's called a Section uh, 1634 state, but that's not important. But they're making the rules a little bit easier in some aspects. Okay, well, how is Ohio more harsh? Well, uh, under Ohio rules, if you qualify for Social Security disability and you wanted then to receive uh, Medicaid, the health benefits of Medicaid, you had to reapply. And their standards were slightly different than Social Security's disability standard. For example, under Social Security, you could keep two th if you were single, you could keep $2,000 of assets. Under the Medicaid rules for Ohio, it was $1,500. Okay. So what happens now under this new law coming? Well, the benefits are under the new law. If you qualify for Social Security disability, you're automatically qualifying for the Medicaid health care benefits. And they've reduced, excuse me, they've increased the amount of money you can, <laughs> you can keep from $1,500 to the $2,000 amount. Okay, well those are good. There must be some bad outcomes as well. Well, they've made it a lot more complicated, number one. The bad outcome is that under these new rules, they're gonna impose something called an income cap. And, and what that means is that if your current income is more than uh, $2,199 in Ohio, that's the, and it's adjusted, you don't qualify for the Medicaid benefits. You, you, uh, you, uh, you become disqualified. So. To qualify for these rules, you have to do so, all sorts of new paperwork, and you have to set up something called a qualified income trust. Now, this is not easy. So you, you, when you sit down, you ought to sit down with a, a lawyer that specializes in this area, you know, a certified L law attorney, and then you have to put your money, you take your money, you set up this trust, it's irrevocable. You take your money, you put it in your checking account, you take it from your checking account, you put it in this qualified income trust, the qualified income trust, spends the money on the nursing home, and then you can qualify. But if you don't go through all these steps, you can end up losing your Medicaid coverage. God, who wants to do that, too? All these changes as a budget savings plan. Planning options do exist, but you need to seek help. Our firm will be having free seminars this coming week to explain the rule changes. Please, you've got to attend. For more information, call Mike at the number coming up next. Call Solomon, Steiner, and Peck at one 888 Two three six fifty one seventy three for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization or log on to www.ssnplaw.com Thanks for joining us. On next week's show, we'll spring a craft on you that celebrates the new season. Then we'll put our finger on help for hurting hands. Plus, can our senior centers keep up with society's changes? It's a challenge that could come with beneficial bonus. But until next week, please remember to make the most of your golden opportunities. Golden Opportunities is paid for by Elder Productions.